I get for buying second hand. <laughs> you are sort of waiting for the ground to dry out. What is the problem? Uh, it's this cart. Stuck in the mud, see? And so, my sacred duty will never be fulfilled. Sacred duty? Well, that's right. In my family, when our days are nearly done, we hide our most beloved treasures behind waterfalls. Why? Because what is a waterfall with nothing behind it? A water fail, that's what. Of course, with moose bells everywhere, I cannot wait until I'm nearly in the ground. Think you could help me out? I'll pull the cart free. The cart? No. Lug this chest up those cliffs there. Much quicker if you do it. I'll make it worth your while. I am actually very busy. Well, it'll take a mere moment. Found a perfect spot already. Right behind one of the waterfalls. Walk along that log, follow the path up the cliff, go through a little cave, and you'll find the right waterfall. You'll know you're in the right spot when you find the white flowers. Bring me a few, would you? So I know you managed to find it. <clears throat> white flowers. Very well. Oh, you are kind. I'll wait for you right here. My savior. Well then, do you have the flowers? I do. Here. Ah, oh, excellent. And, uh, you did put the chest where I asked, yes? Of course. Good, good. Then you have my thanks. My sacred duty is fulfilled. And my reward? Oh, the finest of all. Gratitude. And the satisfaction of a job well done.
seen it in my dreams. Loki had failed once in his attempts to ruin the work of Sindri and Broca, but he had a mind to try again. Again he bit Broca, and again, over and over until the dwarf could stand it no more. But stand it he did, outlasting the full extent of Loki's mischief. Draupnir, a ring of gold from which eight more rings would fall like rain every ninth night. A font of endless wealth for Asgard's most righteous lord. My Jotun brother would have one last chance to spoil the works of Sindri and Broca. If he failed, it would cost him his head. Produce so much shit. Asgard has abandoned us. No, we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. What do you? Times it stung me. Three on the hand, then the neck, all oh, then on my eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutunga's special mead? What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... It, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorp, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Evildee with a job that he'd done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. Even after all that has happened, he 
He still has the defiance to seek out a horn of Svartal fame's finest. be seen in this area. Can't do this alone.
over here.
Hey, come here a moment. Give me a hand over here.